Morning team. Day one, slept until I just woke up. It's about 6.30. I don't have good uh, darkness in here since I took the garbage bags off of my, off of my windows. Um, about to jump in the inbox, about to bang around, do some work. Let's get it. Good morning, it's day one, it's 9.45 in the morning. Woke up at about 6.30, did some emails, I did my laundry from the weekend. I'm about to go meet Jordan to get him intro to people at Vayner, get Gary some food. Um, see you there. Coffee shop grind, look at this guy. How that session go this morning? What's up? How was the session this morning? It was good, man. Gary crushed it. Did some uh, upper body push, upper body pull. Little band pull parts at the end. Quite a bit of volume. A lot of volume. Yeah. A lot of volume. Right? Now, now we're getting them all the food. A lot of food. Not all, all the food, games. but like, yeah. yeah. That is like the nine-ish month plan is get big and strong. Exactly. Stack on as much muscle as you can. How you like in New York? Yeah. I love it. I love the hustle. Yeah. 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 It's different, man. Like, in Israel, it was much more relaxed, like, it was, like, sort of taking it Yeah, yeah. Slower. So Jordan's from Boston, and you spent how long in Israel? So I was in Israel for the last six months. Got it. Um, just hanging out, and I came here, yeah, and, like, yeah. literally, like, like, the, like, the calm before the storm, the relaxation seriously. before the... No, dude, it was crazy, because, um, I would wake up, like, seven or eight, like, do my daily thing, now I'm waking up at five. Only difference being that, like, I'm in New York. Yeah, you yeah. You can feel it here. You know? Yeah. It's, that energy, it's you real. Can really feel it. It's a real deal. Not, not like, because I hate when people are like, like forget about where they came from, and become condescending about places, and like become big time. But like, the the energy of the city is real. For sure, 100%. Yeah. All right, I'm crushing email. Jay's got a new website launching. Let's get it. Hope you guys are getting it too. Well, uh, I got a rest day. I actually might do a deload week. I'm I'm real beat up. It's been at least three months since I did a deload. Um, and when, like not muscle fatigue, but when my joints are starting to really hurt, that's kind of when I know it's time to take like either four or five days off or just reduce intensity, bring weight to like 70% instead of 100%, bring volume down a little bit, continue to go through the workouts, pick up next week. Um, I'll let you know what I decide. What's up guys, lunch, uh, rest day, my fats are up to 125 grams, we got salad with oil and balsamic, salmon, avocado, cucumber, beans, and then I got these carrots which are really good, they have like a honey oil glaze, um, so probably another 12 to 15 grams of fat. What's up? So this is something interesting that I do, um, or I don't think it's interesting for me, but I think it's necessary and relevant and not enough people do it, is at the end of each month or like the 31st or the 1st, I review my personal finance, my investments, my savings, um, kind of like my spending uh, versus how much I'm making. Um, and I don't like to spend too much time on it, probably 45 minutes a month because it's it's a defensive mindset and it's something that I'm trying to break myself out of the thought pattern of. Um, it was definitely very, very valuable when I was like coming out of college, saving up, trying to quit my job, strapped for cash, like every dollar really mattered. Um, but e even at this point, it's still good. Like it's good practice and it's good budgeting for my business um, and like thinking about where to spend money and what good things to spend money on will be as far as advertising and other things. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now at my computer. Um, one thing I look at is where am I invested? Um, how am I diversified among various asset classes? And how liquid am I if I want to make moves with that money? Um, but for, for a lot of people, and particularly like because of Gary, I have a disproportionate uh, because of Gary and because of the current state of like how the world works and how employment works and how you can make money using this thing called the internet without having a boss, I think I have a disproportionate following who's interested in some kind of entrepreneurial venture. And for that crowd, personal finance is so important because 
not only having savings, but having savings that you're fine with burning through, taking a risk at starting your own thing is huge. And you need to figure out what that means for you and your family and how much risk you're willing to take on. But um, having X dollars at you know Y dollars spent per month for how many months can you take a shot at whatever whatever you're taking a shot at, whatever your venture is. But for me now, like I said, I'm just a, a high level overview of where I'm at and it's actually something I'm trying to cut down on, something I'm trying to think about less because uh, I, I don't like that defensive mindset that, that comes naturally like firstborn cautious kind of to, to my nature. What's up guys, get this air conditioner off so you can hear me. Uh, I'm about to go pick up food for Equals and Alternatives episode 101. I'm gonna film it and then I'm gonna upload it for today's video and this vlog is gonna be tomorrow's video and then I'm caught up. I'm waking up at five o'clock tomorrow, I'm gonna crush it. I got this Craig Ballantyne thought in my head. I think it was Craig who said, win the morning and win your day or something along those lines and like 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. now that I don't have Gary in that six slot it's just gonna be like five to nine every day I'm doing the same group of activities I'm interacting with clients I'm getting video up like crush the morning win the day um, I'm super into this random Nikki Heaton song <laughs> just kind of the, the album art's actually like like kind of hardcore ish which is weird I think it's actually kind of spammy like it looks like like porn like she's in lingerie but it's like it's like off-putting, but the music's solid. It's called I'm Ready is the song. Um, it's just on repeat all day. I had something else important that I was gonna say. Can't remember now. I'm gonna go film that episode. I'll see you guys before bed. All right guys, that's it. Hope you're all having a great day. Equals is uploading. Subway and burgers chilling here. I ate all of the chick-fil-a because it was amazing um, Get this up. I'm gonna take a shower get seven and a half hours of sleep get up at five and get it See you tomorrow You know what it is? This this is the equivalent of coming to a fitness website and the homepage being like a like a jacked, like juiced dude, but then the content being really good. Like you see it and you assume because there's so many hucksters who do shit like that that it's not gonna be that good, but then you're like, oh, there's actually pretty good content here. That's what that is. <laughs>